the camera even my mic turns off so yeah okay so i'll start thank you for having me it's so awesome to be here at false asia again uh, my name is bob reyes and i'm from the philippines i'm a mozilla reps mentor and tech speaker uh yeah if in any way between my my presentation my audio gets clunky please let me know via the chat uh, just a short note how we started mozilla is an offshoot of the netscape communications thing so it started decades ago for those who do not know for the kids out here uh listening tonight so yeah mozilla.org is from netscape so if you are using firefox thank you and that's basically you're using in one way or the other netscape um, as an open source and nonprofit organization um, mozilla has a mission and our mission is we want to build a better internet and for us to build a better internet it is because we want to ensure that the internet will remain as a global public resource that is open and accessible to all to have an internet that truly puts people first so that individuals like you and me can shape our own experiences so that we can be empowered safe and independent when we go online here in the Philippines, we have been operating since 2009 as, a, as an online community. Uh, and we have a leadership composed of uh, Mozilla reps, regional coordinators, and core members. Uh, what we are, what, what's keeping the community busy is that we are localizing Firefox, uh, both for desktop and in mobile, to different languages in the Philippines like Tagalog, Cebuano, and Hiligaynon. And we are also advocating free and open source software uh, online security, privacy through means of social media, online events, and participating in lawmaking procedures, and many more. Right now, we are populating a learning management system with contents related to localization, privacy, web development, and Rust. And when we talk about Mozilla, we are best known for Firefox. And to those who do not know, uh, this must this may come uh, as a surprise. But when we talk about Firefox, we are talking about the family of products where we have the browser, uh, Firefox monitor, and a whole lot more. It also, Firefox also has versions for mobile devices, both Android and iOS, as well as, so this is the latest version now, as well as we have a service called Relay. It's basically an email uh, relay service or forwarder. If you do not want to give websites that you do not trust, your real email address so that you can remain somehow private uh, and they will there's a way for you to stop these websites from spamming you uh we are on social media just go to link three uh, slash mozilla ph to know where to touch base with us okay and now for my talk uh, mozilla common voice uh, it tries to answer one particular problem okay uh, Common Voice is our initiative to help teach machines how real people speak, okay? Uh, some may say that yeah, there are data sets that are readily available. Yeah, some of them, most of them are not free. Uh, large companies, especially those who are in the internet, they collect and produce data sets, but most of them, majority of them, they will not be available to us common people okay if you have a project that deals with uh, machine learning uh, ai and related to voice you may try to seek uh, permission and ask for data sets from these companies but it will be hard okay so and we at mozilla thinks that this somehow suffocates innovation okay so common voice is a project uh, to help make voice recognition open and accessible to everyone. The website is at commonvoice.mozilla.org. Now, the data sets produced by the Common Voice project is publicly available and it's free. It, it is powered by voices of volunteer contributors from uh, around the world. Uh, people like you and me who want to build voice applications can use the data set to train machine learning models for free why um, most of those available data sets right now they are biased in what way they over represent white 
English speaking males. And that's why most voice enabled technology will not work at all for many languages. And this is where uh, it does work. It may not perform equally well for everyone. And when we try to create awesome apps that deals with voice, okay, we need to determine how much data is needed. And say you are going to create an application that is command that will use command-based models, you will only need somewhere between one to three hundred hours of data. Okay. Uh, this is for limited or fully known vocabularies. For example, if you need to create a voice assistant without general queries, as simple as uh, uh, car infotainment controls, play, uh, next song, something like that, simple media and navigation commands, uh, you will need a data set of voice that is somewhere between 1 to 300 hours. Now, if you are going to create something that needs limited vocabulary uh, continuous speech recognition like uh, those who will be uh, those apps that will be needing technical speech then you will need a data set somewhere between 300 to 1000 hours if you want to create something that will need near human accuracy for automatic speech recognition or asr and it will depend on the language, you will need somewhere between 1,000 to 2,000 hours okay, of data sets. And lastly, if you are going to create something that will have very high quality, general, large vocabulary, continuous speech recognition model, you will need at least 2,000 hours up to something like 10,000 hours. And if we know how many hours in a day are there, and if your data is limited to create certain data sets, it will be hard to, to collate all of these requirements. That's why we intended to crowdsource this. So how? Uh, Mozilla Common Voice, as I mentioned, is a crowdsource project. So it works like a conveyor belt, and it has two parts, the text corpus and the voice corpus. If one process fails, the production rate or quality drops. Okay, so uh, mon monitoring, uh, ded dedication, time, and crowd is needed for this project to work. So for the, co uh, for the text corpus, what we do is we add sentences, and then we QA or we control, we sentence control, okay? And then for the voice corpus, we record sentences, we read whatever was inputted by the text corpus, and we also listen. Okay, to validate. Okay, later I will have a demo for this. Common Voice uses conversational text or speech, and it is general purpose. It is not specific to an application, method, or model. And just a quick note uh, the data set produced by Common Voice is not clean yet. Okay, so it's not a clean data set. For both text corpus and voice corpus, entries so anyone can suggest uh text uh, sentences that may be used for common voice project they should be uh creative commons uh, under the creative commons or cc0 no copyright reserved and they should be in the public domain uh just a quick uh requirement the text corpus collection must be a maximum of 14 words with up to 100 characters and for the voice corpus to work, uh, the collection will be uh, of a minimum 1.5 seconds to a maximum of 14 seconds. Right now, what we're doing in the Philippines is that we are trying to have uh, Tagalog listed as one of the languages in Common Voice. Right now, we do not have it yet. But uh, thankfully, we have Firefox, the web browser, already uh, translated into Tagalog. Uh, Tagalog is one of the languages that we have here in the Philippines and it is widely spoken. Uh, and then Common Voice in Tagalog is currently under development with only 821 sentences out of the 2,000 required. So for a language to appear, there should be at least 2,000 sentences that uh, is accepted and for validation by those who wish to contribute to the project. 
So this is how it looks like uh, in, from the dashboard perspective. Uh, the common voice Tagalog website is 45% localized and we have 821 out of the 2,000 sentences required. Okay, so there is a sentence collection uh, website uh, wherein people can contribute and suggest text to be added for validation or recording later on. So we need your help. Whatever language you are speaking, um, if it is still not listed under the Common Voice Project, then feel free to request for that language to be uh, added. Okay. If your language is already there uh, in the Common Voice website, then this demo will be for you. So I'm going to uh, to, to conduct a short demo. Uh, okay, I'll switch to my other screen. Okay, so this one. So when you go to commonvoice.mozilla.org, you will see this. Okay, so you'll be uh, presented with two tasks that you can do. It's either you speak or you listen. Okay, so let's go with uh, listen first. Okay, switch. So when you click on listen, okay, it is when you try to help us validate voices. Okay, so you will be presented with text. Okay, yeah, I'm using the English language here. And then you can click on the play button. You will hear recorded contributed voices by volunteers. If you feel, if you heard that they, uh, they, they, they read whatever sentence is presented correctly, then, then just tell us, yes, it's correct. So that we are able to train okay, or the machine to say that this is properly uh, spoken by whoever contributed or volunteered to record their voice okay that's why we are we keep on telling people that we need their help we need your help uh for you to donate your voices to us via the common voice project okay so it's something like this if i heard it, it okay so I, I heard it right so yes and then you will be given five and take note I, I haven't logged in, okay? It is not required for you to log in to, to be part of the project. But if you want to track where your contributions, if you want to know how many uh, sentences you had validated already, then we suggest that you sign up in the Common Voice website. So here, and log in. You may use your Firefox account to, to, to sign up or to log in to this website. So that is for the listen portion. For the speak portion, this is where we ask you, as our volunteers, contributors, to record their voices. So you, you will simply have to hit the microphone button and then uh, record your voice reading the particular sentence presented on screen. Okay. So, and once you're done, you can go on and per task, you will be given something like five items. And again, I did not logged in to to uh, do this particular task so it's optional for you to log in uh, but if you want to track your participation then please do so log in now for the data sets can click on data sets from the common voice website and you will be given uh, the options for the languages and even for the version okay so we are currently at version 8 and for the languages these are the different languages currently available for download. So this is English. The last update was in January 19, 2022. The file size is something like 70 gigabytes and it has uh, an overall uh, total of 2,886 hours and validated hours is 2185. The format is MP3 and it's, the split is something like 24% um, is 19 to 29% uh, years of age and 13% uh, is between 30 to 39 with 46% male and 16% female. So uh, the data set entries are consists of unique MP3 and corresponding text file. So if you have projects that will require 
something like this, uh, you may want to try it. Okay, and then hold on. I'll be going back to my other slide. Okay. For common voice uh, resources and links, you may go to uh, common voice that for, for the data set, you can go straight to commonvoice.mozilla.org slash datasets. Uh, for the sentence collector, if you want to contribute uh, sentences that are in the public domain and uh, under the Creative Commons, uh, to just go to commonvoice.mozilla.org slash sentence dash collector. Uh, if you are speaking uh, the following Filipino languages, Tagalog, Cebuano, and Hiligaynon, we ask for your help. Uh, for to, for us to localize uh, different Mozilla products, including Firefox uh, in desktop and in uh, Android. Uh, if you are speaking different language and you want to be a part of Mozilla localization, just go to pontoon.mozilla.org and search for your language. Uh, anyone can join uh, and contribute to this uh, awesome effort. And if you have questions, uh, yeah, now it's